Gross domestic product measures the size of a country's economy according to its output of goods and services. In simple, it's a calculation of everything made, everything spent, and the income derived. GDP measure is a statistical measure that measures how much is produced domestically. Also, it's quite important when you need to do an international comparison. This figure fluctuates depending on how the economy is performing. In the case of South Africa, GDP is showing negative growth. A country like South Africa, which at some stage did very, very well in terms of GDP, its human index has worsened. So we need to really look at GDP in context with other measures because alone it's a very cold measure, it's misleading. The digital advance has changed the way goods are produced and services provided. For example, people now use online banking and shop on the internet. They're still spending, but they're no longer going into physical stores or bank branches. These services will show a decline in the overall GDP figure, while digital services are not accounted for. We communicate virtually for free. Now we have mobile technologies that are putting an entire world into people's hand for very little money. This means access and opportunities, but the paradox is that our measure of success as GDP encapsulates that is still seeing that as as going backward because it doesn't because it only associates with more and more spending development another area in question is income the goal for all countries is to raise income but the cost of growing that income is also not calculated it doesn't say anything about whether that economy is a good economy and that's extremely important for africa because most of our economies have built their gdp growth by selling out natural resources and destroying the environmental ecosystems. And this is seen as a plus by GDP, but everybody understands this is a minus. GDP also creates a direct link to employment. A low GDP impedes a country's ability to create jobs. The future is about really building a totally different set of measurements that are more in line with what a country, a society, a continent wants to do. Do we want to build sustainable and thriving economies? Then we're going to have to look at how we create good jobs, how we share the wealth, how we treat natural resources sustainably. None of those things can be put into one single number, into one new GDP. GDP was developed during the Industrial Age and first used by the U.S. in 1930. Decades later, the global economy has evolved. We are now firmly in the digital age. GDP remains a key measure globally, but is it relevant in today's world? Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.